All right, hey everyone, KB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team. There's been another over the air update for the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3 um, being pushed out now. It's a little bit of a maintenance update with some added features, which I will go over in a second. But, anyways, it's called the LG8 update. Um, it basically is going to allow you to go from LG2 to LG8. So LG2 was the latest uh, and now LG8 is the latest. So um, I'm actually on LG8 now. What you can do is go to settings and go to about device to see what version you're on. You'll see I'm on LG8 right there under build number, LG8, um, the last three digits. Anyways, uh, if you're rooted, only rooted, uh, you're the over-the-air update's not going to work, or you can actually install it manually, but you need to get stock recovery back. So I have a video on how to do that. Basically, if you're just rooted, you need to get stock recovery back, and then the over-the-air update will work. If you're not getting the over-the-air update pushed, you can actually manually install it. That same video shows you how to do that, so I will uh, basically link to that video. I will also link to the manual update zip that you can download, and uh, basically you can get stock recovery back, manually update, and then you'll need to follow my video once again to reroute uh, because it should unroute you after you accept the over-the-air update. So keep that in mind. If you're running a custom ROM, um, I'd just recommend waiting until the developer updates the ROM for the LG8 update, or you can actually install a stock-rooted ROM of LG8. I can link to that for you guys if you would like to do that. You can just install it through Clockwork Mod recovery uh, so there um, there's there's your options there if you're rooted or running a custom ROM if you're completely stock you can just uh, follow my video on how to manually update if the over-the-air update isn't being pushed but I, uh, other than that though that's how you do that I wanted to basically talk about the LG8 update some things that have been basically improved upon which I like um, actually one of the things is in the notification bar you'll see there is now a brightness toggle right here uh, basically you can uncheck auto and then you can change the brightness on the fly through the notification bar so that's actually a pretty neat uh, neat feature about it um, about the update uh, some people might not like it I personally do I like having that option um, especially if I'm maybe somewhere outside where I just want it to be full brightness or if I'm in the dark where I just want it to be completely dim I can do that easily um, and not have to rely on auto brightness to basically fix it for me so I can just manually control that. So that's uh, a personal preference of mine. I do like that. I believe they've uh, fixed the touch with home has stopped working uh, bug. It wasn't really a bug. It was just randomly. It would sometimes stop working. I only ran into that issue once or twice. Um, has an optimized LTE system selection. So I don't know what that means. I, I mean, it's just basically what they said. So I'm guessing if you're in an LTE area, it basically optimized the basically when it's going to be an LTE when it's not. Uh, they enhance the smart stay function. So when you're in settings under display, the smart stay where if you after the certain amount of time, if you're still looking at the device, it uh, it keeps the screen lit. They've enhanced that. So I mean that should probably work better. They enhance the voice recognition algorithm. So from what I hear, S voice should work better. What's the weather like in Chicago, Illinois? Again, I'm on 3G, so um, could take a little while. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's loading up. There we go. I'm sorry. I don't have the answer. Oh, they don't have the answer. <laughs> so I go and say it uh, It gets better, and, she, and they don't have the answer. So uh, I don't know why. Probably a, actually a, a, a network issue. I don't know. I don't really want to mess with it. But from what I hear, S-Voice is working better. Unfortunately, not for me. Uh, but uh, again, it could, could have been a network thing or whatnot. So uh, you'll definitely have to try it out for yourself once uh, you get that. There's some security fixes. Um, and that's that's pretty much it, except for one more thing. The best thing about the update, in my honest opinion, I think it's the best thing. Uh, when you go to messaging and you go to uh, basically text messages, um, I sent myself a picture message actually. And what you can do is when you go to send, when you used to be have to send a picture picture message, when you say something like "cool," and then you attach an image. Basically, if you say pictures, say I want to attach the screenshot. I attach it and hit send and it's going to send the screenshot but what used to happen is if you had text when sending a picture message it would turn it into a slideshow which would basically make the image really small and you would have to if you wanted to view the full size of the image you'd have to press and hold hit download download the image go to your gallery view it and then delete the picture so it was a huge pain but now they've updated so you'll see I say look at this and it shows the 
the full image that I sent and you can look at it and it's not in a slideshow, which is great. It's a, a really big update. I'm really glad that they basically listened to people and d decided to fix this because it was definitely something that needed to be fixed. So very happy that uh, that has happened. Uh, again, that's probably the biggest part of the update. That and the brightness are the two main things that have been updated. So you'll have to let me know what you think if you like this update. If not, if you're running it, uh, be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me at Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.